Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Drake Bulldogs and the Wright State Raiders. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset City if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential they control the tempo of the game. The Raiders should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, play it your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Second of all, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get that big man into foul trouble. Third, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Both teams looking to get things going here. The brush is getting to him, Brad. Number 44 with the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The power forward takes the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He does the sweet fake shot. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position. Good angle and then the drop step. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Number 42. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. We gotta see that one again. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The small forward gets the pass. He rejects it. Step out on that screener. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. The point guard with the ball. He'll regroup the offense. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Dump it inside. Number 20 gets the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what, let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They're working around the arc. He pump fakes. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible. It's stuck. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Way out on top, controlling the ball, and in and out. Number 34 takes the feed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They're working around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. Fed the low block. There he is, strips the ball loose. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off.
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 10 on the shot clock. He can't let this guy have an uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Trying to pack it inside. Tries for two. Wright State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Both teams looking to get things going here. And pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Way off target. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hack. They work the perimeter. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. From left of the circle, he drains the shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 31 picks up the foul. The Raiders go to the line for the first time in this game. Gets the first. Gets that one. The ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Jumps into the defender. Easy one. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Inside, executes the baby hook. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Inside, he stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. On the inside. Think right now, gonna focus defensively. And he's gonna pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. <laughs> Number 50 goes to the charity line. First one is good. Wright State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Cashed it in. 
The Bulldogs just seem to be frustrated out there, Dick. I'll tell you, that's not the mindset you want out there, Brad. The team must turn things around, or else they could be in some trouble. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Takes away the pass. Up and inside. Shots there if he wants it. Fake. On the outside. For the bucket. And he missed. He's got a nice shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He gets it to go. He tries a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. Picked off. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He blocks the shot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. The layup's good, and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to have to. He goes to the line. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing, like football, special situations, you got to be able to execute there. Here's a double team. Basket falls despite the contact. He goes with a jump hook. Doesn't go. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Up and inside. Number 31 makes a great move to draw the foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? All right, thanks, Aaron. Misses the second shot. Collects the rebound. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the... He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. A little frustration right there. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Now they work it around the perimeter. They get that rejected. In and out.
On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. Drake are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He launches the bomb. He gets the shot to fall. the perimeter number 44 they spent right now emotionally Dick. yeah it's unfortunate to see this brad i feel for him. that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul i tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression high post flashes for the opportunity dump it inside decided against the open post and reverses the ball The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rape. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. He puts it in with contact and all. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket. And off the mark. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> From three-point land, way off target. Nice fake. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Right State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He shoots from right of the circle. He nails the shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Look at these fans. They're loving it. The Ruckus fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. On the top of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Looking for a good shot. He's got some room from three-point range. Can't seem to find the stroke from the arc, Dick. And they're missing wide open looks too, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're doing a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. He makes the first shot. Second one, good. On 
on the dribble gives it up they move it into the front court with the fake he tries a jump hook and in and out and a momentary look from three-point land I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he scores despite the half. On the outside. Got the high pick. They'll work it around the arc. Number 44 is called for the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post flashes for the ball handler. Number 31 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. It goes in. Gets a second. Number 50 with the fake. Puts up the shot. He shows the sweet touch. He attempts the trifecta. Drains it. On the inside. Good fake. The fake. He goes with a baby hook. In and out. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six-man for no reason. Turns it over. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Way off target. <laughs> Tries the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Okay. 
And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating for the spot. Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. At halftime, the Bulldogs are trailing by six. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Dick, start of the second half, David versus Goliath. What do you expect? I think always special when you see the David and Goliath. And you know there are a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you David right now to come out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. Number 40 going to the line for the first time tonight. Makes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you the defense. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that he's took. He gets the rejection. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Number 40. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. Number 15 comes back into the game. I tell you, they need their leadership out there. This kid's got leadership skills just like you, Mr. Nestler. Got it from the free throw line. Down in the low post, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Number 44 is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Dump it inside. From the baseline, buried it. Number 44, What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. That's a 9-0 run. The center takes the pass in the paint. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing the whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Gave it up. They work it around the perimeter. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Number 34 is charged with the foul. Third personal foul. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity stripe quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jump hook from the low block. And he missed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for two. Tickles a twine. The center handles the pass. And now the fadeaway jumper. They still don't score. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Well, wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. He lets it go. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. They work the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Double team now, bad angle. Oh, what a strip, Rad. And a momentary look from three-point land. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. There they come with a double team to stop it. Fakes it. Tries for two. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Moving it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle. Misses from beyond the three-point line. On the outside. Number 50 with the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll go to the line. First shot, no good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Makes his second shot. Drake are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Up and inside. He wants a three. It sticks. The Raiders are ahead by eight. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Number 31 comes up with it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Pull-up jumper from way out. Great shot. The Raiders lead by nine. Down he 
goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. From right in the circle. There was no doubt about that one. They work it around the perimeter. Unloads. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tight D here. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He strokes it. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Number 20 is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, can you blame him, Red? He's getting it done. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, it might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. He shoots from outside. Questionable shot selection there. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gave it up. For the bucket. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They work it around the perimeter. Nope. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that torting, though. Number 44 is going to the charity strike. Count it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Number 35. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He shoots from left to the circle. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. And 
and he'll kick it back outside. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And let's face it. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, down here on the sidelines, I'm close to the favorites bench. Word coming from their huddles are, we've been in this situation before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win. Thanks, Aaron. Dump it inside. From the top of the key. Got it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Jumped in front to take it away. This should be an easy bucket. For the bucket, the land. You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go. Steals the ball. Here they go into transition. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. With a little baby hook. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He makes the first. That's a nine-zip run. Makes the second. I'm out. Some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. The power forward receives the pass. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. He intercepts it for two. Drake are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Way out on top, controlling the ball. The land. The replay's not even enough for this one. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Number 35, 40. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Whistled for the foul. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, knowing when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. It's good.
They work the perimeter. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He shoots from the top of the circle. Sinks the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes away the pass. And now in transition, going the other way. For the deuce. Basket falls despite the contact. Steals the pass. The point guard handles the feed. Strips the ball. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good close position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Blah, 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 blah. And the fans here are loving the action. It's crazy in here, Brad. Has a nice look at the basket. He attempts the three. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Great defense. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Yes. The power forward receives the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. off the pass on the outside gave it up he takes the three he buries it you don't see plays like this every day two point game Brad I'm afraid to hear this crowd if they can get a stop of this possession Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 24 picks up the defensive foul. Third team foul. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. A chance for two. Got it! Wright State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Second shot is no good. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. There's the trap. 
taken away. That one goes back from whence it came. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Picks off the lazy pass. Kicks it out. He strokes it. Rims out. Number 24 is pounded on his way up. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Makes the foul shot. key play at this point in the game, Dick. Right, Brad. A very heads-up play to get the ball back when they desperately need a basket. We get ready to bounce back into action here. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Defense! 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 I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Better foul, quick. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. And yet another foul. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the front end of the one and one. Gets it. T.O. Cole. Hey, we got a barn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. He's open if he wants the shot. Up and inside. He puts it up at the horn. Off the rim and no good. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done tonight. Well, they're impressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. Wright State was caught in quite a battle tonight before pulling ahead for good. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.